Alright, so this is the Mazda 6 um, exterior. Let's take a look. The front, it's so beautiful. It doesn't have fog lights, but it's so beautiful. The predecessor is the one which has the chrome finishing at the top. This is at the bottom, but still it's so pretty, so beautiful. I love them both equally and I love how the grill looks. It looks like dots from far, but it's actually, yeah, I don't know what pattern this is, but I like how they put the Master logo in 3D, so it looks like it is um, protruding out. And when you see this at night, whoa, the headlights, I always fall in love. Every time I see Masters on the road, fall in love. Looking at the whole profile, Mazdas are the ones that make me love sedans. Oh, so beautiful and first ever car which I like this type of colour on, really. I'm becoming an auntie, I'm so sure. Um, let's look at the rims and the wheels. So this one is 17 inch which are the same as my MX-5 but of course it's much thicker. Um, to give it more of a comfort kind of feel. Um, not too much chrome which I like. Just a very nice chrome outline here. Yep, I think it goes very well. At the back, there's quite a long slope and a very small boot. But then when you open it, these are the keys. You can't open it because there's no button here. There's only a camera. So you have to press. Oh, yeah, there we go. Can definitely fit in there. And uh, to put the seats down, Pull this and pull this. So we pull this out. Yeah. Excuse me, focus. Pull this out. Yep. Pull this out. And the seats will come down in front. This is actually very light, very easy. And very easy to close as well. Look at the back. The tail lights design. Very nice. You see how this circle here is the same as the front headlight and I love how it all integrates, it's clean, it's sleek, that chrome across looks very nice. Although the dual exhaust pipes looks a bit off. Huh. And uh, it doesn't have keyless entry. So lock and unlock buttons are here. Yep, and uh, that's about it. Overall of the Mazda 6, I love, 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 love the Mazda 6. <sighs> Now I don't know whether to get a wagon or an MPD or sedan, but when the time comes then I think maha. Uh -huh. Okay guys, that's all from me. Ciao! Hey guys, what's up? So this is the interior of the Mazda 6 and I must say, wow. It's so posh. It's so, so elegant. Everything when you touch it, you're like, wow. It's so premium. Okay, well, the honk is not that premium, but everything else feels very premium. I mean, when I touch all the buttons, you know, it's very nice to touch. Shouldn't have done that. It's all very nice to touch. The feel, the soft touch. You don't feel like, wow, why so plastic or why not? No, I mean, even the touch of this and the touch of the windows, like, you see? And even the touch of the buttons at the middle console and the entire design. It's so sleek, so simple, but yet it's so nice, so premium. I like how everything blends and uh, you really don't need to do much. Very little, for example, the dashboard here, there's a little in that kind of feel. And uh, let me show you this. See this? how this comes out and I think this will actually cost a lot to do because it protrudes out but wow the touch and feel of everything and ju just the simple designs is that's enough you know this small small this small chrome here it's it's the little things and the fact that it has a hole here for you to cruise nicely although yes the meter cluster here looks very conventional um, very analog, it's very clear cut lah, you know, it's like girl's handwriting at it, very clean. But yeah, that, that's, that's fine. When you look on top here, yep. I don't really like how all this 
is a different color but then again i'm thinking it's because of the heat because when you uh, darker colors absorb heat correct uh you have a sunglasses area here uh don't like how these feel yeah don't think it matches with the entire interior you have an infotainment system um this don't like that this isn't frameless it would be nice if this is frameless but this is a bit off as well the middle uh yeah so there's an infotainment start stop is in the middle and it's just just very nice to look at and you really feel so happy being in this car yeah the middle console is very clean it's just one street thing and these these are amazing guys this is so nice it's, it's like you, you bang and like oh not painful also that's how it feels so nice cushiony feels so soft and the seats are perforated leather so nice and then you just open just watch how it slides so awesome so nice dual climate control and uh, yeah that's it to the back all right so now i'm currently at the back and we all know mazda feels very compact it doesn't feel like it's very spacious like the honda but it's spacious enough for me this is my sitting position and uh, yeah you have compartments in front here you have a handrest here. Oh, yeah. And the best thing, you have USB ports here. Two, 2.1 amps. So nice. And there's like cushion here, cup holders here, a compartment here to just put your phone, you know? Just, just, just put your phone. So nice. Oh, like this. So it's so simple. I don't think it's very difficult to make. You have icon vents at the center here as well. And so nice. The feeling is so nice when I just... So easy. So smooth. It's so nice. It's brilliant. Again, the top here you have lights which I think doesn't really fit well with the entire interior. But then again, that's the top. Nothing. It's not a deal breaker. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. Can I adjust? Yes, I can. I can adjust the headrest at the back here and uh, yep, you have isofix mounts on the right and left back passenger can I access the boot? no, I can't access the boot from here but let's say I sit in and I just enjoy myself here every touch everything that you touch in the Mazda 6 it feels so good might be nicer if I could adjust the aircon how cold I would want it but again, not a deal breaker, it's fine. The seats are so nice, it's so comfortable. And uh, yeah, if I, I would actually buy this as a family car. It looks so good and it feels so good. And when you roll in, they hate it. What's up, guys? I am in the Mazda 6 right now, the slowest spec 2.0 sedan. And I must say, Jinba freaking Itai. All good things to say about the car. How connected I feel, how premium it feels. When I first got in, everything is soft to the touch. Nothing feels cheap. Nothing feels cheap. The driving sensation, wow. The fact that I can feel the wheels below my legs, my feet. Oh. Transmission on this, the gearbox, the pairing, so smooth. We took it up the thing this morning. If you want to see the good thing, run head on to Bobby's channel. But guys, listen to this that masculine roar of a naturally aspirated engine. Wow! When I first heard the engine roar, it was amazing. I loved it so much. And I don't, I don't even want to know how the turbo feels like or a higher CC feels like. This is enough. I love it. I love that it's an NA. And these are the type of cars that you want to train your driving skills in. Not the turbo, because you don't know when the turbo kicks in, but the NAs. And the roar that it makes when you throttle. Wow. And the fact that when you go into sports mode, it actually keeps the rev there. For example, let me engage in sports mode now and I rev. It keeps, it holds the rev. 
step, guys. Oh my god! So nice! And it's still holding! Oh. 
again, I would appreciate it. Bites faster and harder, but it's fine. I, uh, I don't know the feel that you have in this car as compared to the Mazda 3. Yes, Mazda 3 had cushion seats, this one has leather seats. And I don't know, you just there's this sense of belonging. Maybe I'm Mazda, I, I drive a MX5. I'm so proud to drive an MX5 because it just 